Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Nothing Edited. What I have in here is one cup of warm water and two tablespoons of sugar. To that, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of rapid yeast. I'm going to whisk that. I'm going to let it sit. And I'll bring y'all back when it proofs. We're making us some white bread. Can't find it in the stores. Got to make it. Okay, y'all can see now that it's foamed up. The next thing I'm going to add, if I can find it, teaspoon of salt. There we go. Put that up off in there. And okay, it's a quarter cup. Finding everything but a quarter cup. Okay. Gonna add a quarter cup of cooking oil. Quarter cup to that level right there. There we go. Now, to that, I'm going to be adding this three cups of flour, but right here on top, you'll notice that's yellow. That is dry milk. I put a quarter cup. I find that it works very well in my bread. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I have two tablespoons of diced up butter. That's going in there. I'll bring you back as soon as I set up the mixer. Okay, I'm hoping that's good. I just broke the, I just broke this handle off of the uh, tripod. <laughs> Oh well, made in China. Let's turn this on and get this bread going. Turn it on low. I hope y'all can hear this because I do have my dishwasher going, but hey, I gotta, gotta do my dishes, y'all. I'll let y'all see how this starts. because the humidity here. I don't know yet. It's one of those things you never know about when making bread. I really don't like to mess with it. And actually, instead of uh, water, most of the time I do add extra oil because it just seems to work better for myself. Other people do different things, but for me it seems to work better if it starts not doing what I want it to do, if that makes any sense. Just add a little oil. Let me see how this works for a little bit. of it looks as if it's uh, pulling away from the wall like it should. Um, I'm just going to toss in a little pad of flour. I started with three, okay that's pulling together. I'm going to add just a little bit more, a couple more tablespoons. I want that dough to stay together. Okay, that looks like it's doing what I want. I'm just going to kick it up a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to let it go for eight minutes. And I don't want to bore y'all with eight minutes of this happening, so I'll bring you back when eight minutes is up. Okay, y'all, this is about four minutes into the kneading process. This is why I don't need bread. I let the... I let the uh, stand mixer do the kneading for me. I do not need my bread. After I start doing my bread, I do not need it. This is what I let it do. I just let it, let it knead itself.
I mean, I used to play by the rules too, you know, uh, take let it get to this. It said once you got to this stage here, then you took it out and tossed it around on flower on a flower counter. I don't do that. Uh, I have one. There's absolutely no reason to do that. If you have a stand mixer, um, if you notice when you have a bread maker, you don't take it out. This is exactly what happens in a bread maker. It just keeps kneading it itself. You never take it out and put it on a uh, on a counter to do it. So, I just wanted to show y'all that. When it's done, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes off the head. Okay, y'all, this is six minutes in. Just wanted to show y'all. I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, this is eight minutes in. I'm going to kill it for a second, but I've already touched it. I'm hoping y'all can see this dough. I don't like to texture that dough. That dough's not, it's not poking back like I want it to, so I'm going to go for another four minutes. That's the beauty of having a stand mixer. Let it do the work for you. Okay, y'all, I'm on minute 10 right now, and I, I uh, speeded up the uh, stand mixer to setting number four. It's been on in between one and a half and uh, three the rest of the time. The starting of the mixing was at one and a half, and then it, I went to the three. Now it's on four, and I want that gluten and everything to do its job in the mixer. So I just thought I'd bring y'all back and show you that. Okay, we're at minute 11, going for 12. Just wanted to let y'all see what it looked like. Alrighty. That's a done deal. Whoops. <laughs> Would have been. Got to get this off of here. I'm going to spray out. I'm going to go up here. Get it up there on that hook. I'm going to drop this bowl a second. Hopefully I can drop the bowl. Mm, I don't think it will, would it? Oh, okay, that's safety. I'm spraying the bowl, y'all. Okay. Bowl is sprayed. Pull that dough down. I'm gonna show y'all. See, you, you poke that dough. There you go. See, that's what I wanted. I wanted that dough like that. I didn't want a sticky dough. All my dough. And, um, uh, okay. So, total, I ended up using, um, three and a half cups of flour total. And let me try to get this out of the way. That thing is so heavy, y'all. Gosh, that thing's heavy. So, there's the dough. I'm going to take it, pick it up. I'm going to turn it into a ball. Y'all are not going to believe where I'm going to rise, get this flour, this uh, dough to rise. It's uh, about 75 degrees outside. So I'm going to take this dough, spray top of it. There we go, good coating. I'm going to put this little shower cap on it. I'm going to take this and set it on the front seat of my truck. And it'll rise in 30 minutes as opposed to an hour. And I'll bring y'all back when the dough rises. Hey y'all, I'm back. Look, there it is. 30 minutes. It's springing back. It's perfect. I'm going to punch this down a little bit. I don't like to work my dough too much. Just going to punch it down a little bit. All right, I'm going to move y'all over here and I hope, 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 y'all can see everything I'm fixing to do. Y'all going to say, I've lost my mind, but I have it. Here's my pan, already greased up. Y'all, everybody else might fly over their counter. Nothing empty is not doing it. I'm pulling that beautiful dough out just like that, y'all. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Because I can't adjust my camera anymore thanks to this mess that happened to me. Oh, y'all, give me a second. I'm trying to grab this with a rag. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. There we go. That's close as I can get, y'all. Now, Spray that. Now I'm spraying my hands. People can knead dough if they want to. Nothing edit is not doing it. I'm gonna tuck that dough in. I'm gonna roll that dough up. I'm gonna tuck them sides in. 
No spray. You form it. Oh yes, all that sprays all over there. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna put it in my pan real quick. Or I might. Wait, need my pot. Need my little tool here. This ain't a drawer want to pop up and kick me in the knee. Got my little tool here. Y'all gonna say, I cannot believe she's doing that. Well, you might as well believe it, because I'm doing it. Shake my bread again. I'm coming off that counter, baby. One way or the other. This is real life. No more to do it, as I always say. And I guess I'm going to have to put my rag down here. Because I need my pan close. I'm sorry. Not organized. Wasn't planning on making bread day. But still, I don't have any. So you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, bread, let's go. Okay. Ooh. Who cares? It's gonna form itself anyway. Some people don't pack their bread. They're scared of the bread. I'm not scared of bread. <laughs> Let me rinse my hands off. I got all that grease on me right now. I mean, y'all can get all crazy if you want to, making bread and get all upset with it. It's not going to do you no good get all upset. Let me clean this mess up here real quick, y'all. Get this off. This is got a lot of darn dishwashing liquid on this rack. Get that all that mess up off my counter real quick so I slide this bread over. Now, you see that bread in the pan? All right. Get me in my... Give me another rag. Goodness gracious, all I'm doing is messing up rags today. Somebody hates to do laundry. Now I'm gonna spray that bread. I'm gonna use that same shawl cap. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it out in that truck. 30 minutes later, this is gonna be risen and ready to go in the oven. To be continued. Okay, y'all. 30 minutes later, this is what I have. So if y'all don't think putting a loaf of bread in your vehicle to get it to rise up for you don't work, I'm here to show you it does. Now, a lot of people put egg wash, I don't. More spray into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And I don't know who, who was on the show, but I just hit 1K thanks to TR. The TR show. Anyway, y'all, I'm so excited. I gotta get back to chat uh, in TR's chat. Bake. I'm gonna bake this bread, and um, and and um, I'll show it to y'all. Okay, y'all. Here it is. It took 40 minutes. Uh, I did pop it out of the pan earlier, and I cracked it here and cracked it here because it was make, not making this sound. It's making it now. So if it cracks again, you know what? I don't really care. Ow. So here's the loaf of bread. I'm going to put this towel here so I can run butter over it. So it'll have a nice, beautiful texture to it. I'm hoping y'all can see it. Got this little pad of butter here. I'm gonna run it over the top. Okay, y'all, that's it. Um, I'm not slicing it right now. It has to cool down. I may come back and show you a slice, or I'll show it to you in, a, in another video. And I know y'all can hear what I hear in the background, and I don't want to shut it down right now. Anyway. That's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. And y'all have a great day. Y'all stay safe out there. This is nothing edited, and I'm out. Okay, y'all. I'm going to try to cut it. It's not as cool as I want it to be, but I'm going to attempt to cut a slice. Actually, I really don't want it too cool. I want to I wanna eat it. And I'm hoping I don't mess it up by cutting it. That's where I always have my downfall on my bread. I can bake beautiful bread. I just screwed up when I cut it. Ooh. All right.
Okay, let me show y'all if y'all can see this. Look at that, y'all. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god, that is soft. That is as soft as bread you get from the store. And look at this. Oh my, y'all. Oh my, oh my. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm Yes, Lord. Hang on a second, y'all. Mm mm mm. Ooh, y'all. I had to get me some butter here. Slather that on there. I don't get it. It's not as hot as I wanted it to be. Usually I cut it before it even gets to this point. Look, butter. You're getting on that dead gum bread. I'm country, country, country. And I'll let you get on that bread any way you want to. There we go. The rest of you on top. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all. Y'all. Mmm. This is fantastic. Mmm, 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 mmm. Follow this recipe, y'all. Look at that bread. I mean, just. Look how beautiful it is. You're not gonna have mine ass falling through holes or mustard. Oh, y'all. And then here's this side. Look how pretty. The bottom. Y'all saw how I did the bottom. There's the bottom. Okay, y'all. I'm fixing to go eat some bread. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. And I want to, I want to thank each and every one of y'all. Everybody who has got me to the 1K mark. I don't have my cushion yet, but I'm working on it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means. Y'all have a great day, and stay safe during all of this. This is Nothing Edited, and I'm out.